Hey guys, this is Peter with Carries.net, and I'm going to be testing Graffiti, which is a keyboard input system for the Android operating system. Uh, this is a Verizon Samsung Fascinate, which is what we're going to be testing on. And again, with the new videos, we are going to be going into the basic features and settings of the keyboard for the first minute, minute and a half. And then after that, you can find the more advanced features, advanced settings, and customizing it to your own preferences following that minute, minute and a half intro. So this is just to keep things basic. If you just want to know about the keyboard, and you don't have to kind of sift through all of the advanced settings. So let's jump into it. To activate Graffiti, once you install it from the market, you're just going to go into Applications, Settings, Language and Keyboard, and just make sure that green check mark is next to Graffiti. So next, let's go into our messaging. As you can see, Graffiti is already loaded, but to regularly get this to load, uh, let me just delete this real fast. To regularly get this to load, you just hold down, you long press on your input um, screen, and it should give you a few options, but this one just goes to directly to select input method. So just make sure the green ball is next to Graffiti and checked, and then just go into it. So as you can see when you start it up, there's an ABC on the bottom left hand screen a 1, 2, 3 on the bottom right hand screen and these two triangles kind of pointing at each other. So that means the right side of the screen is for drawing out your numbers, the left side of the screen is for drawing out your letters. Uh, for those of you trying it for the first time, just hold down and swipe up to get your graffiti help screen. Again, just you can familiarize yourself with the letters and numbers and how to draw them here. You have your returns, spaces, shifts, caps locks, all those kind of shortcuts here. Punctuation next, punctuation shifted, extended shifted punctuation, finally accents for letters and symbols, and back to your regular typing. Um, one of the advantages that Graffiti does have is it does recognize Japanese input characters, so that is an advantage for drawing those characters in your Android operating system keyboard. The other advantages are just drawing out the letters themselves. You can get really quick at it for those of you who are familiar with Graffiti when it started out on Palm a few years back. But again, this is a drawing system and you draw per letter, unlike swipe or slide in or any of those where you actually draw from letter to letter. So that ends the basic settings portion of this. So let's jump into our more advanced settings for those who want to know about it. So let's go back to our settings. Graffiti settings. So again, as I said before, Japanese input and Japanese layout are at the top. Then comes your hardboard, hardware keyboard settings. So if you have, for example, the Samsung Epic, you can choose to hide graffiti when the hardware keyboard is out, when you won't be using it. Um, auto, auto capitalization. Uh, input word learning will just learn, you know, your slang words that you use. Word prediction will help you complete words if they're long. Um, after you typed a few letters, it'll give you suggestions. Uh, typing error correction is just like it says, it displays the predicted words for corrected typing error. So if you type something wrongly, it'll suggest ones that you should have typed. And finally, on the bottom, it has your Japanese user dictionary and your English user dictionary. So let's go in and let's toggle Japanese input to kind of give you guys a sense of how that's going to work. So we'll go into we'll just choose the left side for buttons for now to kind of give you guys an idea. So let's go back. Go back into our messaging. And again, there's our characters on the left side, so we'll click on that. And I'm not familiar with Japanese characters, so let's make sure I clicked that real fast. So maybe with Japanese characters you have to See if we can do this now. Okay, there we go. So um, you just again start typing, click your Japanese input, and it gives you different symbols that you can do there. Um, again, I'm not familiar with the Japanese language, so those of you who are, if you could leave some comments on some suggestions on how to use it, that'd be great. Again, thanks for tuning in. This has been Graffiti for the Android operating system. You can see screenshots, app icons, QR codes, and even more tips and tricks on our website, carries.net. Make sure to check it out there along with the other 7 to 10 keyboards that we are reviewing in that article. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.